certain number of pays. Myanmar has made uh, some important steps toward democratic reform and national reconciliation, and this includes the release of a large number of political prisoners, uh, more than 1,000, uh, a greater media freedom, uh, an active parliament, uh, now the prospect of a national ceasefire agreement, um, maybe uh, next November. Uh, these are all developments that we need uh, to support and encourage. Uh, he highlighted also that uh, uh, the government has yet to fulfill its obligation under international human rights law to investigate the allegations of widespread human rights violations, including by the security forces reportedly committed during the initial June 2012 violence, and to hold the perpetrators to account. The government cannot renege on these obligations. The situation in Rakhine State is fueling a wider occurrence of communal and religious violence, which is posing one of the most serious threats to the reform process. What I say is that I do not believe that the new found freedoms in Myanmar are to blame for the violence and incitement that the country has recently seen. I have visited Myanmar eight times and I have seen that the people in Myanmar are kind and peaceful people. This violence should be seen more as a continuation of the way organized groups with political and social agendas have operated under decades of military rule, through violence and incitement against minority groups, a more open society in which human rights are respected and in which all individuals and groups are accountable under the rule of law will soon mean that this ways, way of operating will be the, a thing of the past. Uh, now we would uh, invite also uh, Mr. Ojeda.